Hello and welcome to Football Manager 2018. My name is Ashley and this is going to be the first in a vid series of videos where I go on a career through Football Manager 2018, starting at the very lowest level of world football. I'm going to be starting uh, unemployed, so I'm not going to be choosing a club. I'm going to be starting without any coaching badges and with no experience. And the aim of the aim of this video series is to progress to the best I can be, the best teams I can, hopefully one day winning the Champions League, the biggest leagues in Europe and managing some of the biggest teams and best players in the world. This is the first video, so as you can see I'm on screen right now. This is me, I'm, uh, I don't actually wear glasses in real life. Once I get my video, my video sorted, my webcam sorted, you're going to be uh, seeing the real me, but at the moment we're just going to be recording uh, with voice and gameplay footage so I'm going to skip now to having set up, set up the game and you can see uh, the, the jobs that I will be applying for so uh, we'll see you in a second so here we are the game's been set up uh, I'm going to first take you through uh, the leagues that we're going to be playing in if we um, have a look at the Sorry, add and remove leagues, so you can just see the type of leagues we're going to be playing in. Brazil, uh, down to National Second Division. Um, England is where I'm from, so it's going to be where, uh, the one that I know best of all. We've got that all the way down to the non-leagues. Uh, three divisions in France, two in Germany, two in Italy, two in Portugal, uh, two in uh, four in Scotland, two in Spain, and the JD Welsh Premier League as well. Um, as I will say a number of times over this series, I, I'm, I'm a semi-professional football referee in the JD Welsh Premier League. Um, so having them on there is always very interesting because um, I get to uh, see some of the players that I work with and, and some of the indeed some of the referees that I work with as well. Um, have a quick look at my profile. Uh, which is on here, my profile, and you can see that where I've put my statistics, so you can see uh, from my history, I've only got a National C licence, um, information about me, um, does it say on here, um, or is it another screen? Anyway, I've started as no experience in a uh, Sunday League footballer, a National C licence. I've put basically all my points uh, for the coaching into adaptability and into defending. Um, I always see myself as a defensive coach. Um, I like to play attacking football, but I want to be able to teach my defenders how to defend. Um, and adaptability for me is, is one that you can't... Uh, improve over the course of a career. It's very important if you're going to be moving across Europe and across the world, which which we are. We can add and remove leagues as we go through if there's somewhere we'd like to go um, or somewhere we're having uh, difficulty uh, finding a job. We can introduce some smaller leagues. Um, the for adaptability is a difficult one to improve. All the rest, I think, with apart from discipline and adaptability, they, they don't improve as much. So I like to put adaptability quite high. The rest I can learn as I go along. This might mean that it's almost impossible for me to run a team. I'm going to get sacked at a few clubs early on because uh, players react really badly to when your uh, man management and uh, level of discipline is so low. This might uh, really affect me in the first few jobs. But once I get a couple of badges under my belt, hopefully that will kick in. Uh, you can see my preferred formation over here. That's not the case anymore. I had a, I set this up and that is my preferred formation usually, but uh, I've had a couple of games on, 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 um, on Football Manager 18 when I got the game. Uh, on my laptop and just practicing it's actually changed more now to a 4-2-3-1 um, sort of with, uh, with, with inside forwards and wingers uh, I'm sure you'll get a chance to see it later on in the series um, again something you can't do at lower leagues but we'll, we'll see how we're doing in terms of jobs um, we can have a look at the job centre plenty of jobs for us to be going for um, we're going to quickly knock this down to just the manager ones all over the world, there they are. We're going to be applying for all of them. We'll hit that button now. Um, immediately, the ones that uh, strike me as being somewhere I'd like to go Plandidno up in North Wales, um, Clyde and Cowden Beef would be uh, interesting places to start. Uh, Bogner Regis, Boston United, where um, uh, Lelujo FM, who really got me into this, uh, he started one uh, there 
uh, was it 2015 I think uh, I watched pretty much that whole series so know a couple of players from from that from that which would be interesting and FC United obviously their links to Manchester United I'm not a Manchester United fan I'll get that out straight away on my first ever video um, but that would be quite interesting you'd have a rivalry later on if you managed to get them to places um, Solihull Moors I doubt would take me being in the National League um, proper uh, but you never know they might well look to try a new manager Tours, uh, again another one from Lelujo's uh, career, I recommend you go and see him by the way, I can put the link uh, to his page in the description if you're interested, um, but really there's a few jobs on there that could well be interesting. Uh, we'll skip forward now and see if we get any, inf any um, interviews. Well we only skipped today and as you can see immediately a lot of people uh, were not interested in me. Lots of the Brazilian jobs just not in, interested. Bury, Everton, Gillingham, Sunderland, Werder Bremen. Believe it or not, they're not interested, which is a shame because I would have, Werder Bremen would have been an interesting one. Rangers, Tours, Estoril, who um, I believe uh, Marco Silva managed, um, the current Watford manager. I don't know uh, how long he'll be Watford manager given... Um, it was current form, but he, he was there. Uh, and then two interviews. I've got two interviews. So we're going to go through those now. Plandino, as of course I mentioned, I might be interested in in, in going there. Um, we'll just skip through this. Uh, um, I think nice and simple. Um, they want a top half finish. Well, I did know that would be a great result. Um, Transfer budget and how much they're offering? Thirty thirty thousand in the Welsh Premier. I mean that's that's fantastic. And um, a budget of one point five. Well, I don't know. They could be on on part time contracts. You never know. Um, but that would be interesting. Solihull Moors. I think that would be that would be one I'm I'm really interested in. Um, I think I think they have a, a wonderful setup already. I mean, they're going to be battling against relegation, but um, you know, they're they're a they're a club that I think uh, would would be a great place to start my career. They've got a, develop, a director of football, which is good. I, I like working with a director of football. I tend to pass a lot of the the coaching uh, appointments of coaching over to them. Um, I'm also I've got rules about scouting and finding players, but you'll see that uh, once we get a club, I'll talk all through with that. It's, um, uh, I, I like the realism aspect. I'm not somebody who looks for specific attributes and um, I like to rely on my scouts a lot to find players. The new scouting system in Foot Manager 18 is excellent and I like to maintain that realism. I'm not going to know some chap in the Nigerian league who is absolutely wonderful and is you know the best header of the ball uh, the world's ever seen because of some attribute. I'm going you know if my scout finds him that's great. You know if um, I read about him in a, in, a, in a about in an awards page well I can have a look at him then but I'm not just going to rely on the player search menu. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, yeah this all looks fine excellent so we've had two interviews uh, let's jump forward and see if we're gonna have a job. Well, we've been offered a job. Uh, Clandidno have come in for us. Um, it's a club I know very well. I, I, I've been to the ground many times. Um, the, the, the referee changing room are very small, but uh, there you go. Um, the club is, is a well-run club. They're offering me £140 a week for a 12-month contract. It's um, interesting, shall we say. It's very interesting. Uh, I haven't heard from Solihill Moors yet. They've not said anything. I think we delay it for a week. I don't know what other people's opinions are. I, I, I think we delay it for a week. Um, by all means, put in the comments what you'd do. Um, we'll get this video, this episode f finished. I'll be in a job, don't worry, by the end of this episode. Next, next episode, we'll, we will have the first games. I'm going to delay this for a week, hopefully. They agree to delay. Excellent. Hopefully, we hear back from Solly or Mors. And we have. We've heard back from Solihull Moors. Um, well, they've come in offering us a 12-month contract on £400 a week. Now, I, as I said, I like to play this in realism mode. I'm being offered a contract at almost three times as much money. I might have a little negotiation. I'm debating about it now. Um, but Plandino 
go away. You, you, you're not offering me enough money. I can manage in England, which is where I'd like to manage. Um, if they give us 450, I'd take that straight away. And they did. So we're taking £450 a week. I'm going to look for a little house, a little apartment in Solihull Moors. I'm actually from Worcestershire uh, myself. Um, there, oh, Solihull Moors, obviously, in more Warwickshire, but uh, is, is in Birmingham. So it's not too far away from my family, which is quite nice. I can have a look um, and find a place ready for the next episode. But we're going to accept this, continue on to tomorrow. And it's all going to change colour. And there we are. We're going to blue. Sully Hall Moors have hired me as their manager. Um, that ends today's episode. We're going to, no, no, it is, no, it doesn't. I'm going to change my mind. We're going to have a little look at the squad. There it is. We've got a um, good number of players. I can immediately see lots of defenders, a few midfielders, immediately a lack of uh, wide players. I can see one midfielder right, possibly two. Uh, yeah, what? two no midfielders left mm -hmm. so immediately i can I, i'm get, I'm getting my transfer budget ready um and my uh wage budget ready that we're going to be bringing players in uh if i have a quick look at the finances of the club the club in profit we've got just oh, just under seven thousand pounds we've got no transfer budget to spend uh, but we have got plenty of what we've got a thousand pounds of wage budget so plenty for us to do plenty of work for my backroom staff to uh, get on with and uh, tomorrow we're going to have the very first game of this series where we get to start our career at Solihull Moors. Just to recap, they are in the National League. This isn't even in the North or South. I don't know how this has happened. You always start in the North or South and you always fail. This is a great, great job. It's, we are on for a hard year. If we have a look at this, the preview for the season is that we finish 23rd. 900 to 1 on. It's going to be a tough year. But here it is. If you have uh, like to support the channel, this is the very first video on the channel. It's the very first video of a new series. Like, subscribe, and you could see this all the way through to hopefully when we win the Champions League. I'll see you at the next episode.